This episode of That Time I Got Reincarnated as a Slime paints itself as the final episode of the season. But it's actually not the final episode of the season. <laughs> Greetings, my friends. It's slime time. It's time to take a look at another episode of That Time I Got Reincarnated as a Slime. I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a quick warning. Uh, this is going to be a super quick review as I am a busy man and I have barely any time to talk about this episode. But I wanted to talk about the highlights. And this episode was interesting as it almost painted itself as the final episode of the season. Not only did they wrap up a major story arc, but they introduced a couple of characters rapidly, and we even get a big montage sequence of seeing all of the other characters in the series, and even a lot of flashbacks from some of the biggest moments. They even play the main theme song, which basically means this is the end of the show, but it's not the end. There's actually another episode for the end of the season, and I'm really curious to see what that's going to be, because everything got kind of perfectly wrapped up in this episode. Whether the next episode is going to continue the story or just give us a random, ridiculous, one-off story it remains to be seen, but this episode right here just went by fast. Lightning fast. In fact, if you were wondering if any of these kids were going to get superior spirits, worry not, they do get them. Every single one of them in the span of just a couple of minutes. Of course, a couple of them get special treatment, but the good news is all of the children are officially saved. And that's all thanks, of course, to Rimuru and Ramorous. Rimuru actually is able to use his powers to suck up all of these weak spirits and transform them into something strong and imbue them into some of the characters, such as Gale and Alice and Ryota. But it's Kenya and Chloe who end up getting special treatment here, with Kenya receiving some sort of light spirit who's just incredibly androgynous and crazy and is probably powerful, but they don't really give you a lot of time to really understand what this character is, and he gets his very own special spirit. But it's Chloe who arguably gets the most interesting one, as there's a big ominous warning when she receives her spirit, which apparently is some sort of being that comes from the future. Yes, we're going to have time travel in the show now, apparently. And this spirit takes the form of some sort of woman wearing a wedding dress who kisses Rimuru, and I, I don't know what to make of it. Ramorous claims that this is some sort of evil spirit which shouldn't have the ability to inhabit Chloe, and it would actually be a bad thing. It also has some sort of connection to Veldora the dragon, because we get to see him for like a split second in the episode. But mostly, it's just mysterious for the sake of being mysterious. They might as well have just slapped a big piece of text on the screen that said, hey... Read the light novel, asshole. Chloe ends up getting saved, and they don't really worry about the fact that she's been inhabited by some sort of weird super-powered future spirit. They're gonna cross that bridge when they come to it. And right as this arc ends, we immediately leave into the finale of the entire series, which seems a little strange. In fact, there's this other part of the story where apparently Rimuru actually rebuilds a golem for Ramorous, the one that he actually destroyed, which has a way more ominous-looking form, and they don't even follow up on any of it. They say that this is a story for another time. Time. Again, it's another one of those scenes that basically says, read the light novel, check out the manga, bitches! And that's basically the episode right there, with Rimuru saying goodbye to all of his students, knowing that they're going to be safe, they're going to continue their studies, and he even ends up passing off his mask to Chloe because... Well, let's face it, of all of the children, she's easily the one who has the most character. And that's still not saying a lot, as we don't really know anything about these kids outside of their names and some of their character quirks. I really couldn't tell you that much about them, and ultimately, that's what made the second half of the series kind of disappointing in my opinion, as they built up these characters so much, and they didn't really do anything with them at the end of the day, outside of the fact that they're kids and that they've been saved. Rima and Ranga decide that they're going to return home and see all of their friends again, as they rapidly introduce even more new characters. There's this one demon-looking fellow who has incredibly creepy-looking eyes who seems to be looking in on Rimuru, and we even have that one character who I believe goes by the name of Hinata, who appears from behind a tree watching Rimuru and Ranga as they go home. Again, kind of disappointing considering that in the intro of the show we see Rimuru actually fighting this chick, and none of it ever comes to fruition. In that sense, it's kind of disappointing. And this is all followed by a massive montage of songs and characters doing what they do, and then it kind of just ends. It seems like this is the true end of the season. I can't really say for sure, though, because there is at least one more episode, and I don't know what they're going to do with it. Let's find out. So, 
What's the rundown on this episode right here? An okay episode that honestly made me realize that while I really do love this show, the first half was way better in almost every single way. The first half of the series was really taking its time with showing the development of Rimuru, meeting new people, and of course doing a lot of world building. It wasn't until the introduction of Milam Nava where things just went to freaking hyperdrive and they just started introducing characters like at a rapid pace without allowing us to truly get used to who they were, what they're doing, and how they're connected to Rimuru in this world outside of just the most obvious thing about them. Now, that doesn't destroy the series in my opinion. In fact, I'm even more interested in that time I got reincarnated as slime at this point, and even if this does end up being one of those anime which is basically just a giant fucking commercial for the light novels or the manga series, well, mission accomplished. I want to learn so much more about this world which just seems so rich and amazing, and it's all because of its characters. The world itself is kind of stock, I have to be perfectly honest. It's your run-of-the-mill fantasy world, we've seen it a million fucking times. But it's those characters and the character dynamics that truly saved this show. And like I said, I think the first half of the season did a really great job of building all of that up, with the second half being a little more sloppy with it. Again, I don't read the light novels, I don't read the manga version. I really don't know what's in store for the rest of the show, but I'll be damned. If they do another season, my ass is going to be in that seat every week, checking out how it unfolds. Otherwise, uh, still just kind of an okay episode right here. Like I said, the entire storyline where the kids got wrapped up real quick, and I feel like if they were going to end on like a higher note, they should have ended like on some sort of big confrontation of some kind. I'm not saying that every show has to end with like an end-all, be-all epic battle, but it would have still made it end with much bigger of a bang and less of a fizzle. That being said, I liked this episode. I'm going to give it a 3 out of 5, like I said earlier. I'd love to get your thoughts on this one, what you thought about the entire series in general, and what you think we're going to get from the final episode of the series. That's it. That's my thoughts on the episode. Make sure to check out the channel for more anime reviews. For the final episode of the series, I'm going to try and do a more traditional one that's more fleshed out and have some imagery for you guys to look at. Uh, otherwise, that's the way it is. I'll see you all next time, and as always, stay down there, baby.